this afternoon. I've had traveled with Jack the last couple of days, and we've had a wonderful enthusiasm everywhere we've been. And they can talk about the enthusiasm gap, but we're not seeing it here in Kentucky because the good general practice now has come on. The eyes of the nation will be on Kentucky on Tuesday, and that means the eyes of this nation will be on each and every one of you because now we're at a point at this election where it's up to you, it's up to each of us to deliver the vote and get everyone out we can possibly get out to the polls. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you three reasons why we have to work harder in the next five days than we've ever worked in an election. The first is the quality of our candidates. With the outstanding candidate in the U.S. Senate race, Jack Conway. Yeah. Yeah. I know Jack as well as anyone knows him. We work side by side, and I know him to be a man of integrity, a man of intellect, a man with a deep commitment to public service, who will be a champion for us in Washington. And the other important candidate for this district, the critical congressional seat, and our fine Congressman Ben Chandler. Ben has, ben has done us proud. Every step he has taken has made us proud to have him serve as our representative, and we owe it to him to return him with a resounding victory from the 6th District. But the other two reasons, besides our fine candidates, we have to work harder than we've ever worked, is that we will be a test case as the nation watches Kentucky. This is the first critical election that has happened since the U.S. Supreme Court decision that has unleashed millions, hundreds of millions of dollars across this nation in secret donations from special interests, and they're coming in here at a rate we believe is higher than any other part of this country. And they're coming in here trying to destroy our candidates with untruths and distortions, and it's up to us to show that that kind of politics will not succeed. We will fight back. Yeah. We will win victory for our candidates. And the third reason it's so critical for us to work hard these next few days is that under assault are all of the principles we have stood for as Democrats. All of the principles from Social Security to Medicare to student loans to civil rights, to protections for women and gender equity, everything we've stood and fought for to make every American be able to achieve the American dream is under assault in this election, and it's up to us to fight against that assault. Now, now there's a lot of talk about this stomping that took place at KET Monday night. But I want to tell you what, it was more than one foot going down on one young woman's head. That stomping incident was a symbol of the kind of politics we are battling today. And do we want candidates and leaders who are going to stand up and be champions for all that is best in America and in Kentucky, or do we want leaders who are going to campaign with the politics of fear, the politics of discriminatory attacks, and the politics of holding people down and appealing to the worst in who we are in human nature, or do we want folks who are going to hold us out for what is best about the human spirit? That's what that stomping incident was about. They've come out and shown who they really are, that type of politics, and we've got to fight back, we've got to stand up for what we believe in, and we've got to be sure these fine candidates are elected. So work as hard as you've ever worked these last few days. There's a lot on the line, there's a lot at stake, and now it's in your hands. Thank you so much.